our lives depend on energy. We need energy in every single thing we do. We use energy to communicate, to move. We use energy to eat. And this comes at a high price for the environment and for the individuals. We got to the point where we have to reinvent the way we produce and use energy. New ideas, new technologies and new sources of energy are needed. In Tunisia, there are different sources for clean energy, but it represents only 2% of the whole energy circulating in the national power grid. Renewable energies cover 14% of the world's needs in electricity and the rest is covered by 79% from fossil sources and 7% from nuclear plants. Solar and wind energy are well known to the public, but their true potential remain untapped. As a resource, um, you have the potential to create a renewables industry, a quite important renewables industry. There's no doubt about it. Clean energy production plays an important role in the decarbonization scenario. Indeed, one hour of sunlight on Earth in high noon could provide enough energy for one year for the entire world population. Tunisia started to implement clean energy since the early 90s, making the country a leader in North Africa in terms of clean energy production. Début des années 90, le Stega a mené beaucoup d'études pour mesurer et voir quel est le potentiel éolien dans le pays, qui a abouti à la réalisation de la première centrale éolienne en Tunisie, qui est celle de Sidi Deut, qui est de plus en plus installée maintenant de 54 mégawatts. In Hawareya, 140 kilometers from Tunis, 71 windmills face the Mediterranean and produce clean and renewable electricity on every turn of the blade. Pour les projets euh, des centrales éoliennes en Tunisie, sont, on a deux, euh, deux sites, le site de Sidi Daoud et le site de Bizert. Le site de Sidi Daoud, il est composé euh, de euh, 71 euh, machines. Euh, de différentes euh, gammes, de, de 330 euh, kW de puissance unitaire jusqu'à 1,32 MW, donc euh, avec euh, une puissance totale de 55 MW à Et pour le, le projet de Bizert, la puissance installée elle est de 190 MW. Euh, on a 143 machines de puissance unitaire euh, 1.32 MW. La production annuelle pour Sidi Daoud elle est de euh, environ 150 GWh par an et pour euh, le site de Bizert elle est estimée à 600 GWh euh, par an. Donc au total euh, on a environ euh, 750 GWh par an en, en éolien. Cette quantité d'énergie de 700, euh, giga, 750 GWh euh, par an, elle permet à, à la Tunisie d'économiser annuellement environ euh, 153 000 euh, tonnes équivalent pétrole de, de, de combustible. But still, the country has an important potential that remains unexploited. But coming along with the political change in Tunisia, there's a big opportunity and a big chance for the country to take profit out of the renewable um, energy uh, sector uh, for the future. Investors, specialists and government representatives agree on the fact that further green energy implementation requires a strong political decision. In addition to the benefits of renewable energies for the environment in Tunisia, the export of energy to foreign markets could be a substantial added value for the Tunisian economy. Indeed, two important challenges hinder the exports, which are namely the high cost of the installations 
and the establishment of the judicial framework that regulate export. People always think it's too expensive uh, to use um, regenerative uh, energy solutions, but um, it's um, only expensive if you don't consider all the costs that are connected to fossil uh, fired plants, like climate change issues uh, in, with the case, in the case of nuclear plants, nuclear accidents, for example. <laughs> مشكلتنا في تونس توا كيفاش نحلوا هالمعضله نتاع الارتفاع نتاع كلفة الكودر فيا نتاع الكتريسيتي برودويت من الطاقات المتجدده هذا هو الاشكال نتاعنا However through clean energy export Tunisia is able to get advantage from markets which are ready to pay high prices for clean energy Europeans are willing to pay a higher price for renewable electricity today. And with this high price, we're able to invest in new technologies and in factories to build solar production equipment in Tunisia. There is an absence of a clear regulation that would permit international companies willing to export energy from Tunisia to Europe. I think that the biggest challenge is to clarify the regulatory environment because um, it's not clear um, you know, to what extent we can export the power, what is the export regime, and these are questions which we've brought up with the government and we're in, discuss in discussions with. And so we need to come up with um, solutions that work for our company and that work for the financiers who will come and provide the capital for this. So we need to establish the right kind of regulatory jurisdiction to make this project doable and most importantly financeable. Ils ils vont être privés et ils vont être les centrales où ils vont la totalité de la production. Ils vont être coupés pour des mots, ou à faire, une centra, canon, les hauts et les mâles ou pas d'ailleurs. Change is inevitable, technology is here, initiatives too. But this would mean nothing if people are not willing to embrace change or to get involved in every step of environment protection. We have to think collectively about tomorrow, about the future of our children and the future of our beloved planet Earth.